Hi, Tom. What's on your mind today? Good morning, Dan. Hi, Tom. Uh, I hate to add insult to injury, but uh, 50 did lose a bet to Seton yesterday, a pie in the face. Did you guys have a bet on that one? I don't know. Did we? Yeah, what? it was a five and a half point. It was. It stayed from. We went oh. From, uh, <laughs> oh no! I don't, I don't think anything was said Let's about a pie. Let's go, Tom. I, 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 we we could play that back. I'm pretty sure it was nothing was talking about a pie, but I did think Denver <laughs> was going to win. I think Denver right, was going to win by. I thought Denver would win by six points, which obviously didn't happen. But I don't. They didn't. I don't remember any pastries being on the line. About uh, it. I think we were just talking. What about do we point. remember about that? Was there was there a bet there yesterday, Seton? Uh, you know, now that Tom in North Carolina mentions it, I do remember that being a thing. Um, I think I even said cutely after a pie to the face, something like that, like it was, it was, as a joke. Was it, but it, never, was it uh, meant as cute? Hold on I a second. I meant it as cute. I'd see, this is where Todd is the best, right? He just said, I don't remember anything about any pastries being on the line. <laughs> and then followed up with being like, I think I'm the one that said pie in the face. Like, you're the one that brought it up, and you just said nobody God. brought it up. I said, that I said in a cute way. If, if you guys you know what? You, you know what? Let me get the IT team on. Paulie. I'll wake him up. Get the IT team on this. I don't remember any pastries being on the If the audio suggests that there was a bet yeah. for a pie, I'm more than happy to take a pie. But I don't think wait, in this wait. particular case. Did you say. I also if, said Drew Locke's going to throw 19 if, touchdowns. If passes. the audio suggests. Is that what you said? Well, yeah, I said Drew Locke's going to get 19 touchdowns. But before I even realized, he wasn't even going to be the starting quarterback this year. Drew Locke could have at least 19 touchdowns. Passes. If you admit. Right now, you made that bet, and you lost that bet and deserve a pie to the face. If you admit it now, I'll let you out of the bet. I am quite confident that we were in playfully talking about the point spread, and I said okay. Denver should win no, that no, game no, by that's six. That's it. No. That's fine. Okay. I, I don't remember and anything we don't, about and we don't, pie. we don't playfully give pies to the face. Here. I know I said pie to the face, but like there was no it's like, okay, very pie to the face. Serious. You got it. There's the bet. It's very serious. I did think Denver was going to win by six. I know you did. Without a pie to the face. Yes. You should get a pie. To the I team is on a story right now and spending extra time trying to find out if Fritzy did indeed make a bet with Seton yesterday that he thought Denver would win and they would cover. Paulie is uh, working on that and, and do. Now, oh, my goodness. Room for an I team investigation. My goodness. The motto of our news team is fast and wrong is still fast. Let's go to the newsroom. Paulie. Dan, we were pretty cloudy today when we recapped uh, the air quotes bet that Fritzy may or may mm. have not engaged mm. in with Seton O'Connor yesterday. Okay. There were some reports that the line was six and a half, and then mm. you dropped it to five and a half, and Fritzy mm-hmm. said, I'm in, and, or he didn't say he's in, mm. and then he said he actually mm. used the phrase pie in the face. Mm. So the team cut the audio, and uh, to put it in context, we just the clip, it's as is. So here, here you go. It's not edited. No. Okay. I see Denver winning. I would. I think the point spread should be five and a half. Five I think and that's a, a little half. high. In all okay, Seton, that's I'm going to give you Seattle and six. Can I give him six, Todd, or five? Let's go five all and right. a half. Five and a half. Denver needs to win by at least six. Okay, Seton, you get uh, the Seahawks, and then you get to hit Todd. I'll, with I'll take Geno Smith. Okay. Fritzy said, "Let's go five and a half." That that's a call to bet, right? Yes. That's a call to bet, but not necessarily we're putting a pie to the face. You mumbled something about like a mini reference to a. If you play that back, he's towards the end of that. I don't know if this helps what, or hurts my. But cause. you know, you know where I stand on this. Unless there's something attached to it, I don't want to hear that you have a bet. You know that. Yeah, but don't you usually say, "Okay, we've got it, pie to the face." You got the Broncos. You got the Seahawks. Like usually, like you kind of wrap it up with. Uh, Something more definitive, like this is now officially like final answer kind of thing from the game show. So you're weaseling out of this is what you're doing. If you guys, I'm going to, I'm going to put it to you guys. If you guys, the think, answer is yes. You deserve a pie to the face. If you guys, Never put it to if us you guys. guys unanimously feel like okay. that was a pie oh, to the face. Now it's unanimously. Bet, yeah. If, okay. If every one of you thinks that that All right. meant it's for a pie to the face and you really feel like that, that was uh, established. Okay. And then it Let is me, it uh, Seton, you good with a pie to the face for Todd. I feel like I should recuse myself, being as I'm okay. involved. Okay, Marvin, pie to the face for Todd. No. No. You must be new here. What the hell is wrong with you? Okay, yes. Okay. <laughs> Don't you know what good content is? Badgering the witness. <laughs> Leading the witness. And badgering the witness. Um, yeah, Paulie. I'd like to hear it again. 
I say Denver winning. I would. I think the point spread should be five and a half. Five I think and that's a half. That's a little high. Okay, Seaton, I'm going to give soft. you Seattle and six. Can I give him six, Todd, or five? Let's go five All and right. a half. Five and a half. Denver needs to win by at least six. Okay, Seaton, you get uh, the Seahawks, and then you get to hit Todd. I'll, with I'll take Geno Smith. Okay, you get to hit I Todd with, part. and then he. Uh, oh, so I think it's there, Todd. Very vague and questionable. Wait, is it? I, I, I suppose he gets to hit you with a what a hammer, <laughs> like a, a a a chainsaw. I don't know if we played the whole thing. Well, like there was a part where I said "bite in the face," like sarcastically. That wasn't part of the bite that was played, like jokingly, and then what was said you after that. You suggested the pie to the face. Yeah, but then what came after that? We don't have any of that stuff. Like After I said pie to the face, there wasn't like, yeah, pie to the face. I don't so wait, after you agreed to set the line at five and a half, it was later in that that you were like, oh, wait, no, I don't want to do this? The, the the whole line thing to me, I guess I, did, I thought that was just kind of a playful bet. I didn't no, know. No, no, no. We, we don't do playful bet. No. Any, any, no, so no. Every single time you know we what? say anything about spreads. No, you deserve a pie to the face. Every single this, time we right, say something. Right now. For what you've just done. I No. Now, now I know. Anytime we talk no. about anything that has to remotely do with gambling, someone has to get hit with a pie. No. That's what that's what we're saying. <laughs> that's basically what we're saying. No. Anytime we refer to any kind of line and someone picks no. one side See, or the other, someone has to get a pie. See, this is what you always do. Always go to the opposite end. I think I'm right. End. It's bothering you because you're not right about what I just no, said. You're, <laughs> no, you're not. Now you get two pies <laughs> to the face. Keep talking. You're dealing with onion bagel, Fritzy, this morning. I don't care. Dude, this is straight out of Breakfast Club. Two months, Bender. I got you. <laughs> Two months. You deserve a pie to the face for your rebuttal. And that's exactly what you are. You're a rebuttal. Weak. <laughs> I can't believe how you were totally leading. I, I just said five minutes ago, <laughs> unanimous vote. And then you totally no. This is my on... show. I am the Piesman. I'm I'm giving you the Piesman. <laughs> Did you not put pressure on Marvin? And totally Can we trademark the... that? You're the Piesman. I'm committee? the Piesman committee. <laughs> well, Marvin said That's no. That's why it's like this. Yes, I'm going to give you a big pie well, in his hand. Yes. <laughs> I, uh, Marvin I... voted no, and you're like, but it's good content if he gets hit with a face with a pie. You Todd, have to say yes. Todd, I am the one who decides. Right, so it's a dictatorship. It's good to know that uh, you know. In the it's Soviet a Dan tatorship. You put the I in Piesman. Yes, Paul. Dan Patrick, tear down this wall. Fritzy, I'm trying to be objective here. It does say, sound like you suggest a point spread to Seton, and then Seton says, sure. Unbeknownst to me, that was with a pastry. Oh, I didn't know the there's pot of. So Get every it. time there's a pot of the face for that one? A pastry. <laughs> All right. Pastry. How about this? this? Allow Marvin to explain himself why he voted no. He's how not about because he's just being a good guy. I'm the one that's that decided. What if I got a pastry instead of a pie? Because like you soft, did say. Like a soft croissant. You could just kind of bounce off my nose or something. That'd be cute. A pie is very involved, and you got to wash, and it's in your clothes, and you got to. Do you want me to go? Do scalp. you want me to get a a pastry that's got some icing on it? I think that seems reasonable based on that it's still a little up in the air. And okay, you're not giving here, Marvin a chance no, no, to explain why. No, he here you go. No. I don't care. That's weak. I don't care. Here's the thing. From now on, and I want everybody to understand this. Any reference to when a we point make? Spread. Will you shut up? When we make a bet. Something is attached to it. Otherwise, nobody cares. Oh, I'm going to bet you that uh, this team wins and nothing's attached to it. Nobody cares. You want to put money on it? You want to put a wheel of punishment? You want to put a pie to the face? If not, then don't bring it up. Understood, back row? Did I bring up the point spread Whoa. of the Broncos? Back Seahawks? left, back Whoa. row left. Yeah, okay. Same too, exactly. Both of us. Both of us. Now I'm getting yelled at, no. Todd. It's just. Did I initiate by proxy. the point spread of the Broncos Seahawks game? I Didn't just, you just listen to yes. the thing we played? Did you hear yourself? Yeah, but I, was I the first one to bring up this, the, what the point spread was or something? I wasn't the first one to bring up that the, what the point spread Tom, of the game was. You changed the point all spread. All I said was, I think Denver should win by at least six points. That's all I said. And Marvin voted no because that's all I said was, I think the Broncos should be able to win that game. So if Marvin says face. yes, Todd, if Marvin says yes. Well, that, because now you're encouraging it no, and, and badgering no, no. and leading the winners. No, no. We already established that. No. If it comes down to Marvin decides. I'll tell you what. Let Marvin explain why he voted no. And if you guys think that's a weak no, because, reason, then I get a pie to the Yes. Yeah, Run through the bank of callers right now. Do we have callers on the line? Yeah. You just do a, a real quick, should Todd get a pie to the face, yes or no? Okay. That's it. Well, and I, let them decide. I have a lot of people that are waiting to talk about other things other than a pie to the face for Todd. But. Uh, Bobby in Seattle joins us. Hi, Bob. 
Hey, Dan, how you doing? Good. Do you think Todd deserves a pie to the face, Bobby? 100%. Okay. 100%. I'm, I'm <laughs> Thanks a lot. Here, man. I'm, I'm listening to this guy weasel through the radio. Like, come on. Take the pie. You said yes, do it. All right, Bobby, stay on hold. I'm going to send you a pie slam a jam a t-shirt. <laughs> oh, you get bonuses then. Yes, you do. Yeah. Oh, you're leading the witnesses. Brandon in Virginia. Brandon, does Todd deserve a pie to the face? Yes, yes, he does. All right. Here's a $50 gift certificate to Starbucks. <laughs> yeah. It's a game show now. <laughs> Even if they say no, I'm Whatever, gonna, no. I'm going to give them pie... Whatever. I'm going okay, to okay, try one more time. Let me see. Uh, Doug in North Carolina. A new car. <laughs> <laughs> Doug? Does... Dan, I'm calling to tell you that Seton deserves a pie in the face because on March 17th, I called in to make a bet that Marcus Mariota would start the first game of the season. Oh, this is oh, documented, oh. On, okay. this is documented on DP show bet. That is true. So it's there in writing. That is true. Oh, wait a minute. So I'm the one that initiated the <laughs> don't Marcus Mariota thing? No, don't. That's what I just brought up out of nowhere. Wait, all of a sudden, hold on. I think Marcus hold Mariota is going to start again. Let me, let me ask Marvin. So wait, I does did that? Satan deserve a pie a to the face? Huh? <laughs> I'm out. Okay. Oh, okay. So now every time someone mentions a starting quarterback, <laughs> now I have to get the pie to the face? Okay, okay. No, no. I'm glad that I know that that's how it's happening. Now I'm glad that I know. I'm glad that I know that there's going to be pastries on the line. How... <laughs> Yeah, yuck it up. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Gang up on you. Bunch of bullies. Jason in L.A. Jason, does Fritzy deserve a pie to the face? Well, I actually called in to tell you that I hate Fritzy. Oh. <laughs> That's a harsh word. <laughs> That's not fun. Wow, Jace. Well, I'd hate you, Jason. Could have got a free T-shirt if you just played yeah, nice. I know. <laughs> did we cut him off now? I wanted to know why. He, uh, why he feels I don't that know. Way. Tyler did. Wouldn't it be funny though if he was calling it, but his phone was just breaking out, and he was just like, "I what he really said was like, I hate when Fritzy's picked on." But somebody was like, <laughs> "I hate Fritzy." <laughs> but this is what you guys do. You manipulate things. I, I like that Tyler. <laughs> Tyler hung up on him after he said that. He could have said, "Look, I dislike Todd." Because Tyler's got my back. He's sensitive like that. And he doesn't like negativity. Yeah. I respect that. Okay. Is it... So it's settled. I'm going to get... You're going to throw a croissant at me. A nice soft flaky croissant from like Marvin. 10 feet away. I said no only because, man, Fritzy's had a rough go at it. He's had a rough night. He's that, had a rough but, day. But that's not the point. If he would have... If they would have kicked a field goal, they wouldn't have covered. Sorry, so Fritzy. it wouldn't matter. You see what you're doing to him? You're breaking him down. No, I'm trying to have him understand what he's saying about you to understand that this was a bet with points attached to it, Todd. In the court of law, that would definitely be leading the witness. <laughs> I'm just telling you. I'm not, I don't have a law background, but I've watched enough shows. You, you led the witness. <laughs> Yes. And I object yes. to that. Yes. Marvin's playing nice because he's got like eight pending pie bets, like Kyrie to the net, <laughs> staying with the Nets. I've got like eight more pending for Marv. Todd, I, you deserve a pie. I'm objecting to the whole thing. It doesn't matter. That won't change anything. Who are you going to talk to? the judge would say sustain. I'm, I'm Goodell. Like you're you're going to appeal, and then you got to go to me. There you go. It's a dictatorship, and you get the final call. We'll, that's, that's what it is. But is it got to be a pie, or are we talking about some other soft, flaky pastry device item? Hot cinnamon roll to the face isn't going to feel <laughs> any better. Trust me. That sticky thing and all hot. It's in a bond to the face. How about I, I throw... Tomatoes at you. That's like, not good. Like you, well, I'm just trying to come up with something different. You stand against the wall outside. Well, I'm looking for something less messy. And <laughs> How about going okay. more messy? How about water balloons? Water balloons. You can wear your socks in the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe water balloons. Are you okay with water balloons? How many water balloons are we talking about? Everybody on the staff gets, gets water. a water balloon and and we throw it at you. And at are the you same in close time. proximity where I can like, get injured or how far away? Are you? You know, I get a little neurotic about these things. We could stand back uh, 10 feet. Mm, 15 seems more. No, original. it's 10. <laughs> Let's do water balloons. You want to do water balloons. Can you get that ready in time for today? Or is that going to be like a date to be named? I can get uh, picture day Ray to go out 
He's not doing anything that, in the back. Now he's got to go schlep to some party city store or something yes, and get balloons. and get you balloons. And then we'll fill it up, and then we'll pepper you. Let's mix it up a little bit instead of the... Now, how uh-huh. about this? I can wait another day. I could wait till tomorrow. And put another double or nothing bet on it? <laughs> no, about? there's no double or nothing here. 